Hey guys, and welcome to my review, preview, gameplay, analysis of Dog Sled Saga. That name's hella long. <laughs> uh, if you've got any other better suggestions for names, then do drop them in the comment section below, because I'm still trying to think of a good name for this. Anyway, we'll get on to Dog Sled Saga. Basically, the premise behind the game is you are a rookie musher learning to foster a competitive and happy team of unique dogs so you can make your mark on the dog sliding capital of the nation. At least, that's what they like to say about it. Um, so basically, the, the full idea is you manage a dog sled team and you're trying to get your way up the ranks and gain arbitrary money. <laughs> so we'll have a look at the options. The, the game is very, like, mobile phony. It's like, it's very, like, you would play this on a tablet and it would play fucking perfect. The um, options menu is pretty shit, to say the least. It's like on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off. I'll, uh, I'll turn the music back on. There you go, that's the music. That's the music off, because it bugs the hell out of me. Um, Right, so you've basically you've got your, your options menu, your data where you can wipe all your data. No, I do not want to do that. Um, your tutorial where you can play a quick tutorial and find out what it is. I'm going to forfeit that because I don't want to do it. Um, and quit. Actually quits the game, surprisingly. Let's go into it. Mushers license. So this is my team. Um, oh, I've got a race going. So I've, like, this game is surprisingly enjoyable. When I first saw this game I thought, meh, it might be alright for a couple of goes. Um, we'll see how it is, post out a quick review about it, but I actually enjoy it, it's, I don't know, it's just, it's one of those games that you can just pick up, play a couple of races, and then put back down again if you're wanting to do something. So, you get your, your dogs, the game starts off with you buying your dogs, um, you get three dogs, and then furthermore, as you earn money, you can buy more dogs for your team, and you do more races, harder races with, like, more dogs on your team, etc, etc. Uh, and they've all got their own uh, fatigue meter, they've all got their own happiness meter, etc. But let's go into a race because that's where the main thing of the game comes to. We're going to be running with these guys, sure. Start the game. So, this is the game interface that you get. You, uh, there's uh, a couple, about three things that you get to do with your dogs. Basically, what I'm doing now is I'm straightening out the lines so that they... Uh, I'm straightening out the line so that they don't get tangled. When that comes up, you click on it three times to jump your dogs, and you have to click on yourself to throw treats to them. When they oh shit missed. When they start breathing heavily like that, it means that they are uh, hungry and they need a treat to run faster. So this is basically the gameplay, like the entire gameplay. It's managing your food, making sure that you actually hit your dogs right. Um, if you get it perfectly timed for when the optimum time is to give them food, then you'll get a perfect timing thing. When they bark like that, it means that you're going to get uh, their special move. So some of them move fast, some of them don't need to eat as much, some of them can jump and get food a lot quicker. Ah, shit, miss it. You might have seen there just a perfect thing just popped up. When that comes up, you need to uh, jump. Oh, let's try to make a no scope 360. I wasn't having it. So basically, this is the game. I mean, I enjoyed, I enjoyed playing a bit of it, but the longevity of the game is severely limited. I mean, after you do a decent amount of races like this, you're kind of, I don't know, you kind of get bored of it. It's kind of the same old thing over and over again, so you wouldn't play this for long periods of time at all. Like, the, uh, the amount of effort you need to put into the game is very low, like, in order to win the races. You just need to make sure you don't throw your food at those points. You need to make sure you, <clears throat> when they start breathing heavily, you just feed all three dogs. I mean, you could min-max it and make sure you feed them at the exact precise time and everything, but there's not an awful lot of need. It just levels your dogs up quicker, but meh. And that's is in first place. So I've been taking this very fucking very casually and I've hit first place and that's the end. <laughs> that's it. And that is Dog Slide Saga. We won 17, 1700 bucks. Woohoo! At the end of every race, your dogs will get some fatigue. They will, if you've done their favourite thing, which can be winning a race, feeding them at perfect timing, etc., then they get more points and their skill increases, etc. And also, this favourite thing makes them happier. 
And then at the end of every race, you get to talk to this strange guy about stuff. Uh, Rally, that's his name. And he will answer your questions, and then basically that helps you play along the race. So basically you're unlocking things by talking to an old guy that knows stuff. But yeah, that is basically the game. You can, uh, as I said, you can hire dogs, you get this nice little selection. You can choose what uh, what breed you want, and they've got different traits. Uh, FLT, I don't know what FLT is, or FAV. Huh, okay. But they've got the, the different traits, so he's tangle prone when he... Oh, that's his flaw. And he's got a perfect catch. Different things like that. And this is how many wins they've had. And their personality. And then you buy them. And you can use them on your, like, sled. That's basically it. Basically, it's fucking obvious. You buy a dog, you use it on your sled. Um, league office is where you bump up your leagues. We're in League 3 right now. Uh, you bump up your leagues, you need to do, like, a qualifying race. It costs you a chunk of money. And your journal is where you learn all the stuff that you've talked to Rally about. But... Other than that, that is, uh, that's the entire gameplay. You just go to the next next day, next day, next day, next day, race. Next day, next day, next day, next day, race. And I don't know if it ever ends. It's pretty damn simple. But, you know, it's it's got one of those monotonous type gameplays that you can't play for a long, t a long period of time. You will just play it for 5, 10 minutes, maybe half an hour. And then you'll go away from it and come back to it. It isn't... Right now right now in this early access stage it isn't something that you're going to you're going to be playing the fuck out of anyway um the game is currently five pound and 59 pence on steam so i reckon what's that about seven dollars eight dollars um this is just completely rough but yeah about seven eight dollars and you can get this about the price of an ios or android game um like well a decently developed ios or android game but yeah, so if you feel like it's worth a go, then pick it up. I'm not sure how they're going to expand on this. It is early access, so don't like take everything I say with a grain of salt because it is still actively in development. But yeah, Dog Slide Saga, everyone. Thanks a lot for watching. If you want to pick this up on Steam, there will be a Steam link in the description below, and you can go ahead and buy it for the casual price of fifteen fifty fifteen fifty nine five fifty nine. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I've been Steejo, you've been awesome, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.